Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is Antoinette Williams, the founder of FAB, Personal Growth and Development. FAB stands for Focus, Attitude, Behavior. Focus on your attitude to change your behavior. Why? Because change begins within. If this is your first time here, hello, hello. Thank you for joining us. Welcome to the FAB family. Please feel free to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, as well as YouTube. Yes, that is Fab Personal Growth and Development or on Instagram and Twitter, Fab Personal Growth, where we are all about change. And literally, when we talk about change, it's about self. So today's theme for Self Care Sunday is about self. And so I think... I think I think I think it would be very 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 beneficial if I gave you some background on me, right? So then maybe if I give you some background on me, then maybe you will understand why fab personal growth and development is so important, okay? So it is self-care Sunday and I'm going to share some business. Mm -hmm. We're going to be transparent today. So, once upon a time, right? When I was a little girl, I remember, or maybe you remember too, like recess and, you know, you pay, play kickball and you had to pick your team, right? And I was like almost always last to get picked. And I hated it. I hated it. Oh, I hated it. But if it was like one of my friends that was the captain, I'd be like, oh, you got to pick me, right? You promise you're going to pick me, you know, because um, in my mind, I'm seven foot tall, but like in real life, I'm five foot one. And so as a child, I was small, but my personality was big. And I did not like how that made me feel, you know, being picked last. And so I noticed now as an adult looking back that I actually uh, use those feelings, you know, as far as being picked last to settle in other areas and aspects of my life, especially when it came to relationships like uh, I don't really like him, but since he likes me, I guess I like him now. You know what I mean? And it was just to have someone. And, um, what I can say is that I am no longer in that state. What I can say is I am single, but I will be married. Yes, ma'am. And I don't have to settle, right? So like I've been engaged and I truly called the wedding off a month before we were supposed to get married. I wasn't my best self at the time, but I will tell you this, that it was the best decision at that time. Now, now I am in a place where I don't have to settle. I don't have to settle just to have someone. I don't have to settle for friendships like, well, I've known her my whole life. No, I don't. I don't have to settle for no mediocre job. I don't have to settle for anything because I love myself, because I forgive myself, because I know what I bring to the table, because I know what I can do by myself. So if someone else comes in the picture, match my energy or do better. And I say this to you because a lot of times we have been taught to marry for love or, you know, yes, appreciate what you have. I'm definitely all about that. But at the same time, I don't believe that you should have to settle for less than you deserve, for less less from yourself, less from your children. Why are we accepting less? Why are we dimming our own light to make others feel comfortable? Does that make sense? I know for me, I have definitely heard like, oh my God, she does the most. And I take it as a compliment my whole life. Oh, she's weird. She's weird. And I'm truly okay with that. Like, I like me. I love me. And so, therefore, if you do not, that is not my business. No, 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 ma'am, no, sir. With that being said, I share this message because I think it's vitally important that we understand that when we find that there is a lack of self-love, we do tend to settle we do. We do not honor the body that we have. We do not appreciate the things that we have. We, instead of celebrating, we are self-medicating when it comes to an abuse of drugs, alcohol, sex, food, 
you know, sometimes we use social media, it can be a drug and the TV, you know, and so we use these other outlets, right, to distract us from actually doing the work on self. I say this because I have done this. Oh my gosh, yes. I mean, I had a stillborn in 2014 and instead of properly grieving, I worked two full-time jobs because I just didn't want to deal. I didn't want to see my children. I didn't want to hang with friends. I didn't want to see family. It was just like, let's just get this money, okay? That's that's how I was calling myself coping. Was it the best thing to do? Heck no. It was dangerous. It was dangerous in the aspect of I did not sleep. Like, you work all night, 10 to 7, and then you went to work 8 to 4.30, and then you crash and got up and did it again. Like, when were you going to be a parent? When were you going to take care of yourself? Did you even eat? Like, hello, sleep, what's that? Once again, sharing, being super transparent because I think it's necessary. It's It makes a difference when you hear someone else's story, when you hear someone else say that, yeah, they've been where you are. And if I'm here, then you can still be here. I need you not to give up. I need you to love yourself with everything that you have. Once again, I tell everyone all the time, if you want to be a better mother, you want to be a better wife, a better sister, it starts with self. You have to be a better you. And in order to be a better you, you must love yourself. That includes all flaws. Yes, the good, the bad, the ugly, the uncomfortable, the insecurity. You have to love it all because all of those components make up you. You are wonderful. You are unique. There's only you. Hello. I mean, yes, there's other people in the world, but guess what? If something happened to you today, it would impact others. Somebody would miss you, even if you don't feel it or you don't see it. Somebody would miss you because you do make a difference in someone's life. And the biggest difference that you make is in your own life. So let today be the day on Self Care Sunday, that you take the time to honor where you are and your journey of life, where you can look at yourself in the mirror and say, hello, beautiful, hello, handsome. I love you. Thank you for not giving up. It's going to get better because I'm going to get better or I am better. This message has been brought to you by Fab Personal Growth and Developments. Once again, it can be found on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, as well as YouTube. So please tell a friend to tell a friend about this Fab Life. I do apologize. This message is rather long, longer than normal. However, it feels like it was necessary to be transparent, to understand why Fab is so important, why it's about self-love, why it's about self-care because you do matter and you are your own star player. Have a great day.